Welcome back to Homepage. Well, Toronto is a city of neighborhoods, and most of us are pretty passionate about the neighborhoods we live in. But if you're checking out a new hood, where do you go for help? Toronto-based Zip Local not only lets you search for what's good in your hood, you can also check the ratings for the best and the worst. Here with more is Elaine Kunda from Zip Local. Welcome, Elaine. Thank you. Okay, so tell us what Zip Local is all about. It's more than just a yellow page. It's a directory of businesses. Absolutely. So we like to call it social local search, and what that means is it's a traditional directory, and we layer on user content. So users can go in and add business reviews. They can rate for their uh, rate their favorite businesses and vote. Um, they can also add keywords to listings so that other people can find things more easily. But your company automatically puts in all the data of all the businesses out there? Absolutely. So all businesses are found across Canada and um, then users can just enhance that data. All right. And so you're going to walk us through this. It's very interactive, I understand. Yes. So um, what I'm going to show you today is a few examples. And considering it's film festival in Toronto, uh, for all the stargazers, we'll pick uh, restaurants in. Um, Yorkville. And what's unique about Zip Local is we're very hyper local. And what that means is um, users can search in a neighborhood, um, they can search on a, a specific street. Oh, I think I spelt restaurants wrong. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And York. Sorry about that. That's okay. So what you'll find here is a listing of um, various restaurants and a corresponding map. And um, to show you some of the uh, social content, people can vote for best picks. Um, so you can see Morton's of Chicago um, has been rated eighth place for steak in the country. Um, and you can also look on to see what other people have said about the business, so different reviews. Oh, I see. People have yeah. posted their reviews and here. And people, when they sign up to do reviews, they give a little description of who they are, and an avatar comes up to represent that type of um, who they are. Another good example is Prego, which is definitely a place for um, stargazing. And you'll see it's been rated second place for group dining, third place for romantic bar, and quite a few um, different ratings have come up for Prego. And there are a lot of key words associated with the restaurant as well. Exactly. So a traditional directory has very limited information. So a, a restaurant like Prego would probably be um, tagged as a restaurant and maybe Italian mm -hmm. food. Um, adding all of these keywords allow it to be found uh, more readily. So patio, a type of cuisine, and and this can extend beyond just restaurants, obviously. And can I, as the user, put in keywords? Absolutely. So we have somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 to 40,000 keywords added every month, and that just every day enhances our search engine to make it more um, usable. Very nice. And you've got all the information about the restaurants. Is it just restaurants, or does it extend to other businesses? Um, absolutely extends to other businesses. Um, I'll pick a completely different topic. So uh, how about dog grooming? in Oakville. And again, you'll find all the dog groomers in Oakville and can click on to get more information, uh, see the types of services they offer based on the, the keywords or tags that have been added. Um, another thing that's really unique about our offering is we allow people to search from a given street. So you can do, um, for instance, wine bar, on King Street, last in Toronto. Let me make sure I spell <laughs> things properly. So you'll see all of the listings. Um, the results are basically just on King Street. And for somebody who's wanting to go to a wine bar on King Street, they can get all of that information. Wow, so it gets that specific. You can go really specific with what you're looking for. Absolutely. Um, you can also type in your address and find businesses that are closest to your location. So closest dry cleaner, it's really helpful when you move into a new neighborhood or a new office. Um, so it's really intended to help the user find what they're looking for. And considering 80% of commerce happens within 10 kilometers of a user's home, um, 
it's, you know, there's a lot of people looking for local content and local businesses. And so you're hyper-local. Absolutely. Local. So, yes. you know, more traditional search engines allow you to search Toronto-based, but if you live in uh, one of the many neighborhoods in the city, finding something in Willowdale, which would be considered Toronto, is not really helpful if you live in King West. So what we allow people to do is get specific to what their neighborhood is or their area. Okay, and what's the response been like so far? How many people have gone on? It's, uh, the response has been fabulous. We have over 750,000 people come to our site, Every individual people come every month to our site, uh, primarily in the Toronto and Montreal region right now, and we're really starting to expand across the country. So Vancouver and Calgary is, uh, are the two other cities that are growing quite rapidly. Very nice. If somebody wants to access the website, where can they go? Ziplocal.com. Okay, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Time for a short break here on